Friends, a user reached out asking, how do I create a pattern like this around a cylinder? Friends, I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. Friends, this is Tinkercad. We are on the homepage right now. I'm gonna simply click over here and choose Create New 3D Design. The first thing I like to do is change the name. I'm gonna call this Hex Drum because it's gonna be a drum shape and we're gonna have the hexagon pattern. In Tinkercad, we build with solids. I'm going to start with this awesome tube because it is the shape of a snare drum. I'm going to change its radius to 30. Of course, if you're making a larger drum, you'll have to pick your own measurements. I'm just showing you the technique. I'm going to make the walls 3 millimeters thick. That way it's pretty sturdy and I have room to indent those hexagons. I'm going to maximize the sides so that it looks most smooth and then I'm going to change the height to the number I want for the height of my little snare drum. Mine is going to be similar to a keychain. If you were making a real one, of course, you would have to scale it larger. I am going to skip the bevel on this project and I'm going to simply change my height to 25 and press enter. Our secret weapon for solving this, instead of the polygon, we are going to search for an amazing shape. If we type GRID for grid, you will find there are several polygon grids we can work with. I'm going to tell you I want to use the blue polygon grid. Set it on the work plane. Remember our pattern had columns of polygons. There were three of them. We're going to actually build those separately. I'm going to tell you to start by making it a hole for this measurement right here. We're going to try a measurement of four. I'm going to set this height to two. Wall thickness, I'm going to set to one. Columns will also be one, and we're going to set the rows to three for the first part of this project. We do need to stand it up. I'm going to look at it from one of the corners. That lets me find this rotation handle. Notice if you stay inside that blue circle, it is 22 and a half degrees at a time. If you bring the mouse further out, it is one degree at a time. If you hold down shift, it's 45 degrees at a time, which is perfect for the 90 degrees we need then we can hit D to drop. We're gonna select the two of them, do L for a line, make this shape the master, choose center and the front edge. We need that same thing in the back, so we're gonna do Control D. I'll do Shift Nudge to move it a little ways. But then we can grab those shapes again, do L for a line. Once again, we want the orange one to be the master. This time it's gonna go to that edge back there. The final align is to get them set up vertically. We could have done this while we were doing the other, but this works just as well. Orange one's the master, and bingo, just like that, we've got those arranged. Friends, it's time to make the awesome pattern, and I'm going to show you a way to keep the depth that they sink in the same. First, we're going to grab this and just push it below zero. That way it's out of the way, and we can bring it back with the letter D at any time. Now we're going to grab these two shapes. Notice it says two. And we're going to do Control D. And then we're going to take those two shapes. And I'm going to tell you to just rotate them something like 15 degrees. Don't worry about the exact number. Just rotate them. Then click on them. And we're going to change it from three high, or three rows, to two rows. Do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to select those two, shift select, shift select, and do control D. And we're going to rotate them somewhere close on the other side. Don't worry about perfection yet. We'll fix that in a minute. Now we can grab all of those. I'm making sure I don't grab these. As a matter of fact, I'm going to lock this. So even if I do grab it, it doesn't get selected or it doesn't get adjusted. And if we do L for a line, we want to pick our middle ones and choose middle. Now those are lined up perfectly. We just need to fix the rotation. We're going to do that by simply clicking on this, shift clicking the other, and then using that rotate handle. You can find it from the top. There it is to get the gap that you want. I want my gap to look like that. Notice I've got my nudge set at 0.5. That makes it snap nice and easy. Once again, shift select to grab those two, find that rotation handle, here it is, 
and I nudge them until bingo, I have got that same pattern on each side. Now we can click on this shape, unlock it, and do D to drop. You can see those are going to look great on both sides. And we're going to simply hide this, grab all of that, do Control D, and we're going to rotate it 45 degrees. Notice if you stay close to the center of the circle, it'll snap. And when you let go, you can do Control D again and again. Bingo, your entire pattern has been created. If you select them all, you can simply hit Group to have your awesome cylinder with a pattern all the way around. How cool is that? I do want to remind you that there are tons of options for how you can work with these. You may be asking why not use them all at once. Let me show you real quickly how this turns out. If I make that a hole, of course we need to stand it up. There's my 90 degrees. I'm going to do D to drop. That way we can grab those both. Select them. L for a line. I'll make that the master. Bing, bing. We've got those connected and centered. I'm going to do the same thing to do control D and put one on the back. Arrow keys to start the moving. Shift select. L to align. And of course, we just need to move this one to this location right here. With those in place, I'm going to hide this. Select those. Do control D. Shift rotate to get my 45 degrees. Control D, control D. This time when we bring those all back, if we quickly select all of those and do control G to group, check it out. They do cut in, but because they were not twisted each separately, the angles of the cut are different all the way across. Notice with our one at a time pattern, it's the same depth all the way around. But as you can see, that duplicate and rotate combined with the grid is a super cool technique. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks to Rolando for the question. I always love when I can solve questions for users, and I really, really dig whenever I can find a way to use the duplicate, nudge, and rotate technique. Of course, the question was based on a snare drum, but you could use this to make a ring, a bracelet, anything you wanted to put decorations around a cylinder. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for all the support. Super cool to have hit 50,000 subscribers. Don't forget you are helping the channel every time you take time to add a comment, hit that like button, or share it with other users. Of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. As I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down a little bit further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. This video explains everything about it, and if you look at the bottom, you'll also find a coupon code for 25% off any of the amazing courses at cadclass.org. You can get there in an instant by simply clicking that link. I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. If you look at the very top, you'll find the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks to my supporters on Patreon. And, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.